Hi guys, Debbie here. I'm coming at you with a little video. And it's the collaboration Go Red for Heart Awareness, Heart Health Awareness. So you're supposed to do a tablescape, but I did not do a tablescape. I did, I what I did was I did two sittings because it's just my husband and I. So I was not gonna do a uh, whole tablescape. Plus I have never done one. And I'm gonna show you the little thing that I put together. Um, it's not much and I hope you like it. It's simple because I've never done tablescapes. Um, uh, okay, the hostess of this collaboration, I'm gonna be looking down for now because I have to read it. It is Elaborate Designs by Aisha, Fabulous Designs on a Budget, Therapeutic Designs by Debra, All Things Lux by Robin, uh, Jesse Decor Style, Creativity, um, SM, Me with Stephanie, and Diva Designs Anodyne with Kimberly Davis. And this is to, um, for, you know, this month is, is Heart Awareness. Um, I'm a very active person, but yes, I uh, was born with a heart murmur. Um, the doctors told my mother that I was not able to do anything in my life. Like, basically, if I stress too much, I will die. Yeah. But me being so stubborn, I never listened to my mother. So, when I went to high school, they asked me if I wanted to try for the track team because I run fast. I said, sure. They sent a letter home with me for me to um, have my mother sign it. She did and I did. Yep, I signed it because she was not gonna, she was gonna tell me no. And I was tired of being at home, sitting down and not doing anything. Everybody's participating in all these sports. So I signed it and you know what? That actually helped hurt my heart, going behind my mother's back. I mean, I don't recommend it to anybody, but it actually helped me. Um, I have my daughter and I got another heart murmur and then I have my son and I have another one. So I have three heart murmurs, but I still run three miles a day, every other day. They're not malignant now. They used to be malignant, but they're not. The one that I was born was malignant. Well, guys, um, I dedicate this table to, uh, my, um, grandma. Um, my grandmother had a stroke and she was paralyzed on the left side and um she went home they, they sent her home after you know the hospital that she was okay and then when she was home i think i believe like no more than five months after she got another stroke with a brain ham you know with the brain hemorrhage and she passed away so that's what made me go behind my mother's back and get active. So because my grandma was, um, she would not be active like that. But anyways, um, I dedicate this table to her. And I also dedicate this table to my sister. My sister is alive. But my sister just had a surgery to put a, they put a, what do you call that thing in her heart? They, her heart stopped. It was an electric shock. I don't know what it's called. It's not a heart monitor. Um, a peacemaker. She just had that on, on about a month and a half ago. Yeah. So, yes. And, of course, myself, um, in 2000 and 2017, I believe, I caught a case of Bill's palsy with a light, light head stroke. So the left side of my um, body was paralyzed, was, so was my face. Um, but now you cannot even tell because I did my own therapy because by the time the sent me for therapy, 
They sent me to the hospital or special care. The list was at least two months. If I waited two months, my face would have never fixed. So I started massaging my face. I started um, doing vibration massage. I bought a, a, a derma one, which contains a little three city shots. So I started doing that and I got myself back to, yeah, normal. My left side, does nothing wrong with it. I mean, sometimes I look grip on my hand, but that's normal of my age because I have shoulder problems. All right, guys, you know what's about that? So let's show you what I came up with. This is my little table. And, of course, um, I have... I really don't have red because everything, like, the only thing that's red is you see the plate and they look burgundy. So, but they are red. And, of course, I got my little DIY that I did here for, um, for Valentine's. And I did put my, um, the Valentine uh, little hearts that I did because, see that? What is this there? Heart monitor. So, yeah. So this is my DIYs that I did. And this is this little simple thing that I came up with. Guys, you know what I forgot? The drinking glasses. I forgot the drinking glasses. But I do have them. They're a crystal. Matter of fact, they're right here. I, was for, I forgot to put them on the table. And I will show you right now. Excuse me that I'm going from the camera. And... The hostess also asked us to wear either something red. So here's my glasses. Yep. There's one, and I will be taking out the other one because my husband and I will have dinner today at the table. There's the other one. So guys, this is what I came up with, and I hope you like it. It's simple, but I did it because of the heart situation nowadays a lot of people don't go and see their doctor regular regular it's like my husband he's also seen a cardiologist because my husband has um he suffered from angina he takes medication from his heart but yeah um it's not a joke um people think that oh yeah i don't need to see a doctor i feel good and they don't go for physicals no you need to go for physicals and you need to take care of yourself because a stroke or a heart attack will hit any given second. And if you could have your doctor tell you, listen, you need to do this different, do it because it's for your own benefit. And they asked for us to wear red, so I have a red tee, but it's cold, so I put the black one underneath. But guys, I hope you like it. And it's simple, but I did it because of the awareness. And again, this is a collaboration. Let me read all the host's name. I'm going to go backwards now. This is a collaboration with Diva Designs and a Dime with Kimberly Davis, Creativity SMS Me with Stephanie, Jessica Decor Style, All Things Lux, Lux by Robin, Therapeutic Designs by Deborah. Fabulous designs on a budget and elaborated designs by Aisha. So guys, this is Debbie saying goodbye and until the next one. And remember, don't do what you don't like to have done. Be kind to one another. Don't forget to smile and always keep your head up because no matter what you're going through, it can always get worse. So this is Debbie saying good night. Well, actually, it's not good night in the afternoon. This is actually saying goodbye and until the next one. Bye-bye.